uh, the thermal management system consists of three main parts. Um, the, the important one is the thermal head, and the other one is the controller, and the third one is the chiller. So the thermal head is basically a socket lid that sits on top of the socket. The thermal head has a control controller inside as well as the compression plate that compresses the IC package. The IC package is inside the socket. You place the thermal head on top of it. Then you turn the compression screw to compress the IC package in it as well as make sure the top of the IC package is exposed to the controller. Basically there is a sensor in between the compression plate that gives the feedback to the controller. Now the controller is set at 30 degrees C and the present value is 30 degrees C. And I am going to change this controller to 60. Okay, I'm setting it up. You can watch the present value is going up. There is a Peltier module inside the head. And that Peltier module has a current supply from the controller and it basically heats it up to 60 degrees C. You can see how fast it ramps it up. So it's probably less than, you know, almost like it goes up to 2 to 3 degrees C per second. So right now it's trying to stabilize at 60 degrees C. The function of the chiller is to remove the heat on top of the Peltier. So if you want it to go down to 30 degree again, the Peltier alone can do it, but the chiller on top of it supplies the cold liquid and removes the heat from the Peltier, enables the Peltier to achieve the ramp down rate faster. So you can probably hear the noise of the chiller in there. It's a very low noise, so hardly you can hear anything. So the whole system is noise free, vibration free, there is no vibrations or anything. The other systems we have seen is a forced air system or a forced liquid system that might create a mess in the demo board area. But in this particular case, it doesn't do it because of the unique direct touch technology of the thermal head, which is the key of the thermal management system. So I'm going to go down to, um, let's call it a zero and see how fast it goes down. I set it at zero. All right, now it's going to ramp down. See, it's ramping down. It's trying to go reach the zero degree C from there. And this is where the chiller helps. The Peltier itself reverses the polarity through the controller and starts cooling the chip. And the heat on top of the Peltier is removed by the chiller fluids that is coming through these hoses. Once when you finish up this demo, I can talk about the setup of this demo, which is pretty fast. All you do is a few simple hookups, then we are set. Now you can see it's how fast it reached the zero degree C. That's it. So it makes your characterization very fast. You can able to go to zero or minus 40, anything you want in a matter of quick minutes and able to start doing your characterization rather than waiting for a longer period. Right there, it reached zero, and then it's kind of a little bit overshoots, it's going to stabilize, and then come down. All right. All right, right there. Yeah, it's just a little bit of overshoot. 
you know, it auto tunes itself. You know, it's cooling at a so fast rate, it just went beyond the zero. But you can see there is a light here in that direction. What that means is it is going to come down in there. The electrical input is adjusted to the Peltier so that it reverses back to the heat. So it, you know, now you can start seeing it is dropping down from 2.7, coming down to zero. It has a little bit of overshoot, but not a whole lot. And then you can see that it pretty fast stabilizes it. It doesn't want it to overshoot on the other end of it. I'm going to wait until it comes down to close to zero. Then we can try like minus 25C. And then we can end the demo by that time. Then I can talk about the systems and connections of it. Okay. There it is, probably close to minus one, minus 0.9. It's going to reach the zero and then stabilize there pretty good. So I'm going to go down to minus 40 just to kind of see how fast it gets up there. Right? I'm going to set minus 10, minus 20, minus 30, minus 40. Let's see how fast it gets up. All right. Now you can see it starts ramping up again, so ramping down. So while it is ramping down, I'm going to quickly talk about the system's connections uh, from there. Basically, there are two hoses that is connected to the top of the head that goes down to the chiller. And there is an electrical input that is connected to the top of the head that goes down to the controller on the back side. And there is a third connection, which is basically a hose of dry air. The purpose of this dry air is to remove the condensation. Like for example, at this point, you know, we recommend to set it up at like minus not minus 10 to 20 psi dry air because now that we are going down to a minus 40 degree C there will be a condensation appearing on it now I set it up at like 20 psi in the dry air the dry air is basically comes down and then circulate inside the head that removes the condensation what it helps is it completely removes the condensation on top of the chip so your chip is as fresh as a dry chip on it so you don't see anything in there so now that you know you can see you know we almost reached the minus 40 degree C that's kind of a simple demo of the thermal management system which is basically a direct touch technology using the head controller and the chiller we can achieve a lot more than this this is a very basic system can accommodate up to 5 watt chip power but if your chip has a higher power we can able to go down to a little bit more powerful chiller or a little bit more powerful peltier in it. The head might be a little larger or we can approach them through uh, nitrogen purge, LN2 and a whole bunch of options available. This is to kind of give you a simple demonstration of the thermal system. Customized solutions can be accommodated based on individual requirements. Right, we reach the minus 40. One more decimal. There you go. Thank you.